Hi everyone! As you know, I do 3D modeling, and I did a little project of the submersible submarine that went missing a few weeks ago. If you like my work, give me a follow. This incident occurred on June 18th, as the submersible was descending to the Titanic, more than two miles deep. This sub might seem quite large, but it's actually very small, and we are going to take it apart and see how it was built. In this illustration, you can see how small the submersible really is, with the five people inside. We learned that four days after the submersible went missing, debris was found on the ocean floor, verifying that the submersible had imploded. Let's look at what they recovered off the ocean floor so far. Here's the tail section, and what's interesting is how this is still relatively intact, even though there was this catastrophic implosion. You'll see this with other parts as well, and I'll try to explain why this is the case. Here's the front dome, which had a porthole window that the passengers can look out of. The dome was bolted to a titanium ring that was also salvaged off the ocean floor. Here's a photo of the lake support system being lowered onto the dock. One of the last large things recovered so far is this panel that goes on the tail of the submersible. Here in this example, you're seeing the port side, but the part recovered here is a starboard side panel. Let's see how the ring was attached to the carbon fiber pressure hull. Here in this cavity, glue was applied and spread all the way around. The carbon fiber end was then inserted into this cavity. Let's look at a cross section of these two items. Here in red, you're seeing where the glue bonded the two items together, one being titanium and the other being carbon fiber, both having completely different compression properties. Pressure is what causes things to compress, and at the depth of the Titanic, a four foot square area would represent three million pounds of pressure. Here you can see how the carbon fiber compresses, and the titanium steel does nothing. After going through many cycles of compression like this, the carbon fiber will begin to delaminate, lose its strength, and implode from the extreme pressures. Here's what that might look like. For scale, let's add in the five mannequins. Now in this implosion, you would not be able to see things bending or starting to fail. Here's an example of how fast it would be in a split second with a countdown clock. The last thing I wanted to show are the parts that were recovered so far that we know of. There are more parts that were recovered that we just can't see because they were in bags, but this is a pretty good percentage of the ship so far. Thanks for watching.